Why, hello, my friends. My name is Sir James Insane, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be playing some more Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Now, in the last episode, we were able to find where the crying sounds were coming from, and it came from a chamber. There was no one there. Just a, an area with full of a bunch of broken cogs. And in the area, we were able to find these rods, which we would use to help power the elevator so we can go up to hopefully find Alexander, who we are supposed to kill. But now we are in the machine room, and I'm stuck. I honestly do not know what to do, but hopefully today we will figure that out and hopefully get to Alexander so we can kill him and be safe. Now, without further ado, let's get into the game. So here we are in the machine room and I again I don't know what to do <laughs> so I've tried a couple of things uh, like here we I was able to put some of that coal into this machine here and get some stuff working it worked but at the same time not enti entirely as it was supposed to and I got these cogs on here and I'm going crazy it's not really that dark in here I don't know why I'm going insane Daniel calm yourself fool now the thing is, when we found those rods that would assist us in, you know, getting all this stuff, all this stuff done, getting the elevator working, um, we f I only found two of them, and here they are. Only found these two, and apparently there's one more we need. So I know the Trinity one must go in the triangle, and the and the four phase should go on the square, because four sides, and yeah. All that jazz. This is the Trinity. Let's place that. I'm losing my mind. Oh crap. Does it have any tinder? Yeah, there we go. Now we can put this one. Now all we need is one more. Now I'm trying to remember exactly what we were told in regards to finding um all of these rods yeah he, yeah here we go now I remember so in so there's this one rod that's in the inner study rooms but we can't access it because everything's collapsed unless it's in one of those rooms that I could explore and I just can't find it but I doubt it I've, I've searched everywhere for it and I can't really seem to figure out where the hell to look yeah it says it here again regarding the this inner study Ugh, I'm gonna have to go over there or at least figure out how to get there. I don't know. That's the exit. Oh, back into the wilderness, I guess. Hopefully that thing isn't still isn't gonna be around here, cause he he makes me uncomfortable. He makes me he makes me feel uneasy. It's almost as if he's trying to kill me. How did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. He killed him. He had to have. And that's weird. I didn't know I was going to get a... Uh flashback of any sort oh yeah also in the last episode we kept finding random body parts and bodies in this little area here so I don't know I don't know what's going on things just 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 things are happening what what I guess the see look right here yeah that's the guest room definitely not it the study so I'm supp it's supposed to be here in the inner study but it's like I can't I don't know. I don't know what to do. Is there anything here? Anything of use? Jesus. My last Tinder. Daniel can't seem to keep us calm. Still hear the, the cries of animals. I don't know what's going on here. I think it's the shadow. It's on its way here and it's hurting all the poor doggos out there. I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Wait. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Really? I thought me breaking the window was just like... This thing. Oh, oh snap. Look at that. All that weird strawberry jam looking stuff. It's everywhere. The shadow's definitely getting closer. But I feel so stupid. All this time, all I had to do was just jump. Why are there random... Okay, okay. Not gonna question it. Oh, what is this? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted... Oh, mankind is not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you? No, am I saying that right? I don't know. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was who I... It was... It was I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. Ooh. So I guess him and Agrippa had a bit of a fallout. Oh boy. Need some sunlight. Oh, what's in here? Yes. Lifesaver. All right, we got the flow cylinder. Nice, elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling, channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up eight and down eight. Okay, I'm gonna have to like, come back to this probably just to keep it in mind. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Okay, note that, all, note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Oh. Okay, nice. Well, at least we we got a clue now. Wow, but all this time I just had to look out the window. Oh, well, yes, at least I figured it out now. Dang it, what am I stuck on? Oh. Okay. Oh wow, I didn't even see this was here. Yes. Let's not uh, waste that yet though. There's a pretty good amount of sunlight out here. Yeah. Yeah. Careful now. Ooh. There we go. Awesome. Now let's get back to the machine room. Strawberry jam is spreading. It's so gross. It's like a bunch of like pimples. Oh look. ah! Like a bunch of pimples on top of a red, irritated surface. It's so gross. I know it sounds even grosser when I say it like that, but that's what I see. Ouch! Hit myself with the door. What does that mean? Please don't tell me that thing is down here. Oh, come on. There we go. All rods are in place. And uh, it mentioned something about up eight, down eight. I think that's in here. Alright, so three, three. Five. Doesn't make much sense to me, but maybe I can figure it out. So maybe I just gotta add up certain numbers to get eight. I mean, it's worth a shot. All right, and two, and that would be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, yeah, that won't work. Ah. 
All right. Um, I think I think I'm on the right track. Let's let's figure it out. I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, cause see, that's five. That's one. That's six. And then with these two would be eight. And same up there. Nice. All right. So I think that all that stuff I did with the charcoal and everything should be working now. getting hit. Well, obviously the shadow is not happy with my progress. This should work though. Yeah. so loud. My ears are killing me. Ah. Am I okay? Well, that elevator's screwed. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Ah, oh, man, so we're in the dungeon. That is the best place for us to be, right? definitely nothing horrible or spooky just waiting for us here come on come on move out of my way what was that I don't even want to go over there Oh no, somebody's being mauled to death by the giant monster. What is happening? Oh, a hammer. I wonder what I can do with the hammer. Oh, I can open it. Oh, nice. Oh, God. So gross. Get off my screen. <laughs> what the fuck happened? the monster. Okay. 
That scared me. Oh no 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 Oh come on Daniel, calm down. Daniel. Okay, he's freaking out here. Why is he moving at me? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Literally, two minutes in this place, this dungeon, and I'm already driving Daniel insane. I don't know what to trust. Okay, so that, that coast is clear. Oh my lord. Where is she? Where did she go? You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Was that me? Fucking that girl? Oh, you got a chipper. Alright, so we got a we got a hammer and a chipper, so what are we gonna do with this? Jesus, man. I heard something. Uh, so it's corroded and weak. There we go. Lock myself in here. All these dang bugs. Nice. To restart. No flashbacks. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. He's coming. Hurry! I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise. Hear the crying again. Wait, so there's a hole here. Yes, so is this my way out? There we go. Oh, so that should work. Yes. Freedom. I really wanted to get out of that place. That place made me really uncomfortable. I kid you not, that place was really spooky. Should we go left or right? Let's go left. Never mind. Do I still have that? Yeah, I still have them. Want to make sure I still had the hammer and the chipper. Probably gonna use it for other things too. Get out of my way. Dang, rocks. Ah, out of my, oh my god. 
Get out of my way. Alright. Alright, so where are we at now? Don't budge. Gate is locked and padlock is in excellent condition. Okay, so. Kulina is this way. I guess I'm saying that right. Helena. Okay. Anybody home? Guess not. I'll help myself. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. They are dead because of me. More moldy bread. Nothing went right the first time I found some moldy bread. Ooh. What is this for? It looked, it looked important. So I assumed that I could, like, take it. More laudanum. Ooh, what is... Ow! What? Even touching the outside burned me? Wait, so... that This bottle... It does seem important, so may, what if I just put it into, into there? The bottleneck is too narrow for the flask to be filled without spilling the acid. But a glass container is an ideal vessel. Okay, so... God damn it! Some bread in the acid. Huh. What about this? You're next. Whoa. It's a magical acid. Well, whatever the reason may be, I'm sure it's a good one. Uh. Oh no. Stop. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. What is that? Oh my god, oh my god! No, 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 no. 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 Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I... I guess I escaped. Oh. Never mind. I have to carry on. But I broke the game. Alright, so that monster is probably wandering around. Receptalicum? Okay. Hello? Area Celis the Third. Who said that? Someone's asking for my help. Hello? Who goes there?
What's over there? I don't know. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Are they talking to me, or is that like allowed? Can I break this? It needs to be weakened further. Oh, uh, I guess that's what the acid's for. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Soon it will be ready. Let there be enough time. Now. Oh, come on. Are we? All right. All right. Just chill. Just chill. Maybe he won't check back here. Can't see nothing. Doors that don't budge. I'm running low on oil, too. Okay, so let's head this way. Honestly, when his, his when his uh, when he's all like this and loopy and going crazy, it gets really hard to control his movement. Great, right, this is just what we needed. Oh God, hey buddy. Hey buddy, how you feeling? Okay, I'm just gonna go then. Oh, more flashbacks. Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I believe this. Why, I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. I don't get it. What happened? Oh, a note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. Not bad. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, Not its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. 
Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Wow. So Alexander gave us the treatment. He knows how to run a better breakfast. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, I think it's gone. Oh boy, I'm pretty tired. For sure you can see it in my eyes. Been up all night, you know, playing video games. So I'm going to say that this is about all the time we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent. We got the elevator to work, but it crashed thanks to the shadow that is following us. But either way, we will find Alexander and we will stop the shadow that's chasing us somehow. I've been your host, Sir James Insane, and until next time, stay sane.